Hello internet, it is I, Anunziata, and today I'm going to be talking about the weirdest movie I've ever seen, but it was also really good, in my personal, completely biased opinion. Um, it's called Tank Girl, and, well, let's just say it's something you expect out of the, like, 80s slash 90s. It actually came out in 95, I thought it came out in the 80s. But, um, oh my gosh, it's so hard to explain. Alright, this is what Wikipedia says. The eponymous character Tank Girl drives a tank which is also her home. She undertakes a series of missions for a nebulous organization before making a serious mistake of being declared an outlaw for her sexual inclinations and her substance abuse. The comic centers on her misadventures with her boyfriend, Boga, a mutant kangaroo. I've seen that movie three times. I never knew that that was a boyfriend. The comic style is heavily influenced by... Yeah, fuck it. No one gives a shit. So if that explains how mo weird that movie is to you, don't think it does. Because it literally doesn't even touch the surface. Like, she gets trapped in this, like, place... By these like pe these things, they aren't people. I don't know what the fuck they are. They're like these weird monstery things, and like it's mad weird. And I think they were gonna eat her at one point, but then they didn't. It's just, it's a complete a hundred percent mind fuck. But it is a beautiful mind fuck. If you understand my point, like. If you ever want to just kind of have an idea of what's going on in a movie, kind of just watch it and, like, enjoy the visuals and what dialogue and, like, what you can understand of the plot. Honestly, it's a really good movie, in my weirdo opinion. I'm also the person that likes the 2015 version of Fantastic Four. Personally, I just find it enjoyable. I also really liked Pixels. Damn, maybe I just have a love for terrible movies, but I do hate Titanic, and that's a terrible movie, so, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Tank Girl equals mindfuck. Alright, before I end this video, I'm going to do something that actually it honors me to do. So, there was this guy, and um, his name is The Retro Atheist, and he actually asked me if I'd give him a shout out because apparently I have a lot of subscribers compared to him and that just made me feel really good. So, if you like people who are also atheists like me, you could check out his channel. I will leave a link in the motherfucking description. I swear, I'm subscribed to him. I honestly think he's pretty entertaining. Alright, have a day.